This is footage shot on a Sony FX6. This is footage shot on a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. We're gonna take the image from this to this to this. We're gonna do it very simply. We're not gonna use LUTs. It's gonna be really easy, even if you're a beginner, even if you've never done color grading before. I recently was on set with my good friend, Jim from Mad Ones Media. Please like and follow his channel. He has some really cool stuff. It is easier when the cameras have the same color science to color grade and match the footage. But in this case, I'm gonna show you that it's just as easy with two different cameras. Drag the footage into the media page and then drag both clips into the edit timeline. If you go to the bottom right, there's a gear icon. That's the project settings. Let's click on that first. And then under project settings, we're gonna to go to color management. DaVinci YRGB color managed. Take a look at what happens to the footage. See how it changes. Pretty cool, right? Selecting this option in the color management page is going to add a little bit of saturation, a little bit of contrast. If you've balanced everything right in camera, then you're good to go. Sony has a little bit more of a yellow cast than the Blackmagic does. To find out what went wrong is go into the color page. I'm going to click on the Sony clip. On the left-hand side, you have this camera raw function. So we're gonna click on that, and if we notice, the white balance is wrong. How do I know the white balance is wrong? Well, I was on set. I know that we set everything to 3200. So the easy fix here is to just change the white balance from daylight to tungsten. I'm just going to manually change that to 3200. And there's where we have our footage. An easy trick that you can do to balance your footage is go into the offset. You want vector scope and just drag it around center that as best as I can. You, you can kind of see what's going on with the footage as I move it around. Once you have that balanced, I'll go into the waveform. I'm gonna bring the lift down to almost the bottom. The gamma is gonna be our skin tones mostly, so I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. And I wanna pay attention to where the highlights are peaking on this because I don't want them to go too high. Let's also do this. We'll add a little bit of mid detail, add a little bit of contrast. So we're going back and forth between these two. And what I'm primarily looking at is the flannel shirt that he has on. Keep looking at your scopes. Looking at your scopes is key. And it's not like it's paint. If you made a mistake, you can hit the reset button and do it again. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. And uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, take care everyone.